Life is short. Where we come from does not determine where we end up. Do you realize that everything starts with mindset and what you think matters? And you get to choose how you feel. Mindset is an ongoing process. Everything starts with mindset. Everything in life starts with mindset. Our mind and our in the records we play in our head were programmed when we were young. I never went to kindergarten. That's right. I did not. I started school in first grade in a private school and I didn't realize I could not. They couldn't they didn't realize I couldn't read until third grade. I fell through the cracks. Therefore, I struggled with reading. And I was behind and did not learn to read till third grade. They moved me two years later to a public school. And by fifth grade, I was reading at a third grade level. I was behind, struggling in school, not knowing what to do with me. The public school put me in a special resource rooms. The kids made fun of me. They called me retarded and goody two-shoes since I came from a private school. I had no friends in fifth or sixth grade. It was hard. And to make matters worse, they would take me out of my resource room to give a book report in front of my fifth grade peers. Yes, a third grade book report in front of fifth graders. Can you imagine how that went for me? And to make matters even worse, my sister, who was two years younger than me, was smart. In third grade, she was reading at the fifth grade level. And when adults would come over, my parents would have me show them how I could read. And I was so proud. That, and I would show these adults how I could read. They would then call my sister in and show how she could read at fifth grade. Now, this made me feel dumb. And I struggled in school, never thinking I was smart enough or good enough to do well in school. I learned to just get by in school and make many, many friends. I could do that. I'm an expert, extrovert on steroids, and I love people. That's what I decided school was for. How we think matters, and we get to choose. So not feeling smart is hard growing up, and even harder when you have intelligent siblings who are advanced in school. I thought I needed to be smarter and prettier. This mindset growing up affected me a lot. I ended up moving out two days after I was 17, and I didn't get to finish high school. I got married at 18 to an abusive alcoholic man, and I got pregnant five months after I got married, and I had a baby by the time I was 19. You talk about growing up fast, and I ended up buying into those lies of being ugly and not smart enough. And my abusive husband used those lies against me. I stayed married, not believing I had another choice. With no GD, no money, as my ex-husband had drank it all, and no driver's license. And people told me I couldn't. And I accepted the lies. And finally, at 20, I walked out of a marriage, unsure of what to do. I had no money, GD, and no driver's license. And it took me four times to leave my abuser. And the average attempt to leave an abusive relationship is seven. So I beat the odds. But I had a friend named Gerald Harris that would tell me I could when I didn't believe I could. He would tell me I could when others said I couldn't. Gerald helped me believe in myself when I didn't believe in me. We need to find people who believe in you. He saw things in me that I didn't see in myself. When I said I couldn't do it, he would say, do you want to or you don't? Telling me I had to decide. Telling me it was my choice. Gerald supported me through my education as I learned to believe in myself. And each success and achievement I made helped me realize I could do more. I got my GED and my driver's license. And I earned an associate's degree. And then a bachelor's degree from Park University. Every success took me closer to more success. And I found people who believed in me and who encouraged me along the way. 
They even told me I was smart. Can you believe it? Who are those people you need in your life to help you move forward? Chapter four of my book is all about that. Do you need someone to help you believe in yourself so you can learn to believe in yourself over time? Do, when you start believing in yourself, you, you never know what you can or will accomplish. So what's something that you were told as a child that still plays over and over in your mind and now is that record? Do you have a trigger from your past that's getting in the way of your future? Take a minute right now, and I passed out these cards. I have these cards. If you don't have these cards, you know what? Use a pen and paper. Take a minute to write down two or a people or people who you have in your life to support you today. Do you know that mindset affects us all? Perspective on how we look at something matters. And we get to choose. We get to learn to reevaluate your thoughts. You get to learn to reevaluate and change your mindset. It's a process. Do you know that at times I still struggle with not being good enough, smart, or pretty enough? But what I do with those thoughts is up to me. I wrote my first book, February 2022. When I decided to write a book, though, I said, Who am I to write a book? I'm not smart enough or good enough. I knew I had to write the book, realizing all the people who needed the book and the impact that it could make on others. So I asked myself, what lies are you telling yourself now? And I realized some of the things I was saying to myself were, who am I to write a book? I'm not smart enough. And it's too hard. I stopped and I reevaluated these statements. Who am I to write a book? And I said, I can write the book. I finished college and I've done so many other things and I can write a book. The next slide is, it's too hard for me to write a book. At a conference, they asked us to write what was holding us back. And, and, and we needed to write what was holding us back from doing something. And they had us write it on a board like this. And then they asked us to break the board to prove that we could do that. So I broke this board proving I could write a book. And that was July of 2021. And I went home from the conference and I evaluated, what do I need to finish writing? What do I need to finish writing my book? I said I needed to support a team. So I put together a team of editors and mentors and I pulled my support of friends and I got a writing coach and I finished my book and I published my book on 2-22-22. Yes, I did. I published my first book. You can do it. What do you want to accomplish? And what lies are holding you back? What support do you need? Find the people who believe in you as you learn to believe in yourself. You can do it. Remember, everything starts with mindset and what you think matters. And you get to choose how you how you feel because mindset is an ongoing process. That's why chapter one of my book is all about mindset. And do you know that life is short and where you come from does not determine where you end up? And I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. If you're interested, you can scan this or go to this URL code and get a free copy. Go make your life, create the life in business that you love. 